Let me begin by saying I know there are millions of Americans, millions of Americans in this country who feel disappointed and uh, discouraged or even a little bit angry about the court's decision today on student debt. And I must admit I do too. President Biden slamming the nation's highest court's ruling to reject his plan to wipe away $400 billion in student loan debt. In a 6-3 decision, the court ruled that the Biden administration overstepped its authority trying to cancel or reduce student loans for millions of Americans. KTSM 9 News reporter Tani Davis spoke with borrowers as well as a financial attorney about what steps people need to take following this decision. Tani is live tonight on the campus of UTEP with reaction. Andy, those who have outstanding student loan debt will now have to restart their payments come September 1st. A financial expert I spoke with says now is the time to start looking at your budget, while a student from UTEP says that this is another failure from our government. The Supreme Court's decision means the program that was in place to pause student loan debt for the last three years will expire on August 30th. One financial attorney explains that this affects not just the borrower. Remember, there are co-borrowers, there are uh, guarantors. So with that, if you default and you have a co-borrower or a guarantor, the co-borrower and guarantor will be impacted. So it is millions of people who are impacted by the federal student loan pandemic. Students who are currently in school feel although higher education degrees are important, student debt puts that in the rear view. I think it's wrong of us, you know, I think as a society, as our government, they want us to go to school to better ourselves, but then at the same time, they won't simply help us with student loans, um, you know, try to lessen the hardships that we would have to pay on student loans, not necessarily what we pay, but the interest rates that come with it as well. With student loan payments set to resume on September 1st, Tain says it is now time to look at your personal budget or seek professional financial help. The best way to manage your debt is to always look at your budget and see what you have available to pay towards your debt. If you find that you don't have available budget, it is a good idea to either cut out some expenses in order to meet the obligations of your loans and your debts or to find a way to supplement your income. Tain says with the forbearance program that was able to pause those student loan payments for the past three years actually lowered those interest rates, but has now since doubled, which makes it even more difficult for those with student debt. Reporting live from UTEP, I'm Tony Davis. Back to you, Andy.